Hi guys, this is Beth with Something Better and I just wanted to take you along as I'm, um, I'm out here in the garden and there is my patch of tomatillos that kind of at the end of its life so I wanted to go ahead and pull it out and I thought you might be interested in what that looks like. There's still a lot of unripe fruit on these plants and that's what's been really stopping me from, from wanting to pull them out because nobody likes to pull out plants that still have the potential to provide food for you. But um, the reality of it is they were just taking so long to, to ripen and it was a big chunk of space. So it was a whole half of one of my garden beds was devoted to these tomatillos. And I've made a lot of salsa through the season, but I really am itching to get something else planted in there. I did already plant some uh, garlic in between the plants and that's ready to grow through the winter and give me a harvest next year but I'd really like to uh, plant something that will still give me a harvest this year. So go ahead and join me and we will uh, get these tomatillo plants back, back here pulled out so that I can plant something else. All right. Okay, so my battery totally died on me while I was in the middle of taking out these tomatillo plants. So here's all of the plants, and you can see all the unripe fruit still hanging on them. I've got them propped up against this chair over in my garden sitting area, and I'm going to let them go ahead and just kind of wilt and see if any more of these fruits uh, get, get ripe. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But the point was getting all these plants out of the bed. So we'll go check out the bed now. I pulled them all out. Why? Well, because they were done growing. What happened to that? What happened to what? That thing. That's a robot thing. It's not a robot thing. It's actually, I know you play with it as a robot, but it's actually my camera's tripod. Oh. Yeah. It's actually right now doing what it was meant to do and not being a robot. Am I blowing your mind? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the um, tomatillo bed. As you can see, it took up a whole half of this back garden bed. And um, this here is just a, a sucker from one of my tomato plants that came off. I thought I would just kind of stick it in the corner here. And it seems to be doing okay. We'll see if it actually does anything. But here, each of these blue markers is where I planted some garlic. So as you can see, there's still lots of room here for me to put other things. Um, I'm thinking lettuce or chard. Um, I actually have a little bit of carrots along the edge here that I planted a while ago. I sowed those directly in the ground. Um, so now I have a whole half of this garden bed that I can do stuff with. So this here is the decorative corn, the glass gem corn, which is creating some pretty little stalks here. And we'll see how that turns out. It's the first time that I've grown this decorative corn. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it when it's all ready. But yeah, so here's here's what's left of my tomatillo bed. And actually that little tray over there is, is all of the unripe tomatillos that fell off of the plants as I was taking them out of their, their metal supports. Um, so I was actually using some tomato cages to hold up those plants. But yeah, so I'm going to amend this bed with some compost and bone meal and different things. Maybe some worm castings and then plant it with uh, some greens for the fall. All right, so that's it. I'm sorry it cut out on you and you weren't able to see me yanking all the plants out, trying to get them through those cages. But trust me, it was, it was fascinating. So, all right, well, be sure to subscribe to the channel and 
like so that you don't miss any future videos and announcements because we've got a lot of exciting things coming your way this fall and winter. All right, bye.